Hi there! Okay, here we go again. Hi there! It's Gabby here with, with Radio, Radio Inspiration. If you're new here, this channel is all about easy, easy fun, fun, and fast. And fast. Space, space, space tutorials every, every single, single week. week. In today's design, we are going to make you a beautiful autumn flower bouquet because now with this kind of season, it's always more interesting to use slightly darker tones with any of your designs. And because flowers are always so popular in our line of work, we can't neglect them. So instead of just like getting rid of it altogether, just get your slightly darker split cakes and jump on the bandwagon. This particular design was inspired by Vanessa Mendoza. We are gonna go from this to this. Let's get started. These are the supplies we're going to be using today for our beautiful design. First, with a sponge, mix with gold and neon orange to sponge the eyes, or just at least one eye, and then adding some glitter. Wait, hold up. It looks like she was eating Cheetos and she didn't even share with me. Wow, that's rude. Okay, so anyways, we're just gonna sponge like half of the face in this orangey gold, but now I just, I can't unsee the Cheeto. All, all I see is just Cheeto powder. So we're just gonna finish up this design just the way it looks. Um, I promise it will look better as we keep going. Now it's just a Cheeto. And <laughs> with an angle brush, load it with a darker split cake to start adding the petals for your roses. Try to make sure to add five petals on the outside, and then you're going to just do two petals on the corner area of your hair. This can kind of be anywhere in the eyebrow-ish area. Please excuse that one bald spot I have. I do apologize. And then you're going to add one more full flower near the center-ish area of the forehead. You got the base down and you need to make sure it's dry before you add on this next layer, which is going to be your centerpiece for your two roses. And do it just like it is here with a smaller angle brush if you have one. If you don't have a smaller angle brush, no worries, you can use the same one, but you won't be getting the perfect details as if you use just a slightly smaller one. But sometimes when you're at work, you just don't have time to grab multiple brushes, you gotta just use one. So I totally understand. When you're doing the centerpiece for your roses, adding a bunch of these little petals will make it look better. Please tell me your favorite pickup line in the comments. Now with a smaller angle brush or the same one that you use for the inside of your roses, load it with a green split cake to start adding leaves around your design. Now with leaves, sometimes less is more and if you can tell, we did wipe off one or two because it was a bit too much. And then with the same brush, add these little grass viney things. You also don't want to add too many because you don't want to be the grass man and be hunted by monster hunters. You want to add just enough to make it look good but not too much. Then with a number one or number two brush, load in a soft shade of white, kind of like whitish yellow, to outline your roses. You don't want to do it in a harsh white because it will just overpower it and it won't look good. So make sure to kind of mix it with yellow or mix it with pinkish to just make it look softer than white. And you are pretty much done with this design. Then we're just adding two inner white teardrops on the inside of the, uh, of the eye, but you don't have to. And of course, we're adding Creative Glitter Sticks by Andrea Mohi. Her glitter smells like just amazing. It just smells so good that there's no expression because all of her glitter colors smell different. All smell great. I love them all. Sorry. And then we're adding glitter to this design and you are done with it. Now it's time to add it to the practice board. If you like these kinds of videos, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you never miss any of our videos. Also, with every single video that we post right here on this channel, we have step-by-step -step photos on our Instagram at 
radiant art inspirations. Because let's say you forgot the steps how to do this on the video, or you just don't have the time to rewatch it. Don't worry, we got you. Because you can save these step by steps on your cell phone. I mean, how convenient is that? We absolutely love seeing your work, your style, and your take on these designs that we share with you. If you would like to share your work with us, please tag us at Radiant Art Inspirations on Instagram or use the hashtag ShareRAI. This way we can share you, well, we can share your designs on our stories and our highlights because like I said, we really want to see them. We want to inspire you to keep painting, to keep painting awesome on-the-job designs, but also just to have a little fun, right?